Oh, Aquaman sucks. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the DC Multiverse Batman v Superman, Aquaman! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right down here we have Aquaman, Batman v Superman, Aquaman, Collect and Connect, Grapnel Blaster Replica, Top DC Multiverse. On this side of the box we have Aquaman again, we have a brief rundown of the movie on this side of the box box, just the Batman v Superman logo. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and yes, collect and connect all eight figures to build Batman's Grapnel Blaster. Hooray! And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have Aquaman, a uh, character who had about maybe 10 seconds of screen time in the movie, and has had as much merchandise as anybody else in the movie. Just kind of weird when you think about it. <laughs> I think Lex Luthor has only gotten, like, the one toy. I think Doomsday is only getting a pop vinyl. Like, what? <laughs> he was... He was barely in the movie. He was ba he was barely... It's like, it's like this guy. Like, what? What? Why? What? I don't, okay. But anyway... <laughs> Why not? So let's get in close here. So you can see the head sculpt. So here is, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jason Momoa, I believe is the actor's name. I'm sorry if I messed that up. Um, pretty good likeness. You know, not spot on, but still not, not too shabby. It's pretty decent head sculpt. You actually have some nice, uh, paint on the beard. You have some nice kind of, you know, some highlights going on in there. It actually looks pretty good. As well as in his hair. You can see the paintwork. You know, they tried to give us some highlights. Actually, doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty good. Nicely molded. And going down his suit, he has a big gold shoulder pad right here and some gold armor on the bicep. You can see he's all tatted up. He's got his tats going on. And he's got the gold gauntlets right there. And you got the straps going across the chest. Got the little belt buckle there, picked out in more of a uh, more of a bronze color. You got some more gold armor on the side there. And going down the pants. Uh, the pants do have that texture to it, and it is the same texture as uh, on the Batman figure. But it looks nice. Gives a nice little, like, scaly effect. And it looks good. And you got some nice tampograph detail there going down the side of his tights there. And down to his boots. His boots look really nice. Look very cool. I, I really do like the gold paint they use on this figure. Looks really, really nice. It really pops. And the boots are very nicely detailed. Looks very nice. Even painted the straps there on the back. Looks good. Well, you got some gold detail picked out there in the back for the strap. And there you go. Now articulation-wise, uh, the head, I can't really tell. It feels like it's on a ball joint, but the hair does restrict the movement. Um, the, the hair is a softish plastic, so there is some give to it. So if you try to turn his head, you, you can turn his head. Hair will move out of the way, but after a while, you're just going to meet with a bit too much resistance. And once you get to a certain point, you know, the, his beard will get in the way because his beard is a bit more solid. So you can kind of get him looking sideways. You know, actually, yeah, actually, you can get a pretty good range of movement out of his head. But it does get a little bit hindered in spots. But, you know, it's pretty much as much rotation, I think, as a human head should get anyway. So that's not too bad, actually. Um, he can look up, not really, very, very slightly. He can look down a little bit. Um, no real wiggle waggle movements, just due to the hair. Um, arms can do a full 360. They can go in and out. You got a bicep swivel. You have over 90 degrees of elbow bend. And you do have a swivel at the elbow. You got a wrist swivel, waist swivel. Legs can go forward, that much, back. Not much at all. That's pretty much it. Um, outward movements. You can do the splits pretty well, and this is a soft plastic also, so that'll move out of the way to accommodate. You do have a thigh swivel. Um, under 90 degrees of a knee bend, and the feet can pivot up and down. And the side with the shoulder pad. Yeah, the shoulder pad is also that soft plastic, so it will kind of flex out of the way 
so it doesn't really hinder the arm articulation all too much. You know, it kind of raises arm up about that far in front of him, which is pretty good. And you have this hand here, which is molded in a thumbs up. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? I'm Aquaman. You'll be safe out there. Watch out for sharks. <laughs> anyway, so there you have that. <laughs> Now, accessory-wise, although the feet on my copy of this toy are quite loose now. Mm -hmm. Now, accessory-wise, he does include his staff, uh, which is done in a very dull gold-ish plastic. It's all right. Um, you can see there's a bit of molded detail in there. Down here. A little bit of molded detail. Um, it would have been great if they used that same gold paint on the staff. That would have looked gorgeous, but unfortunately they didn't. But, eh, well. It is what it is. What are you going to do? And, you know, the staff is that softish plastic there. And you can plug that into his hand. And he can now wield his mighty staff of Aqua Justice. And there you go. Try to get him... It's actually planted. There we go. Nope. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, Aquaman. You can do it. You can do it, Aquaman. I believe in you. There we go. <laughs> so, there you have that. Now, for comparison, here he is with the armored Batman. We're going to just try to get this whole, this whole line of figures in here in one shot. We'll try. Now, we have the armored Batman. Regular Batman. Hey, you! Stop it! Is the armor really that heavy? It's weighing you down, man. Jeez, I thought you were strong. You're supposed to be strong. And we have Nightmare Batman. And we'll bring in... Soups. We'll bring in the Woman of Wonder. The Bat Creature. And, hey, hey! You guys, you know, seriously. Work with me, people. Work with me. And... We'll just put Lex Luthor back here. There we go. And there we have the whole Batman v Superman DC Multiverse line right there. So you can see how they all scale with each other. So there you go. There you go. There you go. And there you go. And there you go. And there you go. And there you go. Now, of course, he does include the last component of the grapnel blaster replica because what is a grapnel blaster without uh, some some grappling hooks so this is what he includes the little grappling hooks you get two of them and these bits right here are on hinges and they can open up and you can see they do have a black wash which helps to bring out some of the details oh, looks pretty good on um, this whole thing is a soft plastic and uh, these bits were very warped in the package, and I managed to straighten them out somewhat. You can see they're still kind of a little, <laughs> still a little bent out of shape, but you can fix that with a hair dryer. It's not a problem. But yeah, you get two of those, and we can bring in our grapnel blaster here. And if you want, you can take one of your grappling hooks here, and you can plug it in to the barrel. It will fit like that if you wish, or you can just take them and fold them back up and just slide them into these two clips right here. Like that. There you go. There you have the completed Grapnel Blaster. And that's pretty cool. I do quite like that. <laughs> and as I said before, it's, it's, a, it's a nice size and yeah, it just it, it looks really good. I, I do quite like it. Very, very nicely done. So there you have that. There you have Aquaman. Um, and there you have the last Batman v Superman DC Multiverse figure right there. And that's it. We're done. We're done. That's it. Yay! Now as far as the line goes as a whole, um, none of these figures are fantastically amazing. They're okay at best. Um, you know, some are better than others. But, you yeah, know, it's... This depends on you. You know, it depends on your taste, depends on your preferences, you know, and what you want out of your action figures. I mean, they make for nice display pieces. They're definitely not the most posable things in the world. Um, but still, they're, they're decent figures for what they are. So, 
Now, if you would like an Aquaman or any other Batman v Superman toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Batman v Superman playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the DC Multiverse Batman v Superman Aquaman. Man, and this is Mgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Boom in your face. Seriously, would it kill you to let me win a fight every now and then? The fact that you're still alive means I do let you win. I don't get it. Batman, Superman, I got word that there is great danger afoot. How may I be of service? Oh, this guy again. Why do we let him tag along? Hey, you know what I like to do sometimes? When he's in the water, I use my freeze breath. <laughs> Popsicle man. Ha! Ah, that's hilarious! No, it is not hilarious. It is quite cruel. I'm cold. You're kind of a jerk. Is he supposed to have an accent? I'm not sure yet.